Hi guys, today we're going to run through the first thing on your cheat sheet and that is how to use answerthepublic.com to come up with content ideas for your social media channels. So let's get into it. So first thing you're going to do is go to answerthepublic.com and you're going to be presented with this screen here. If you go to the top right, you'll either create an account, which you can do here, don't have an account registered here, or just log in with your details. I would recommend creating an account for this. Okay. Once you've then got this screen, which very similar to Google, you've got your search bar, but what you can actually change is the country that you want the results to come from. Always change it to United Kingdom because that's obviously where all of your customers will come from. And then what you can do in this section is type in a search term or a keyword. Always try and keep it to one or two keywords. You can go a bit further, like three with say fixed rate mortgage or tracker rate but try and keep it to as minimum words as possible because it will extend the amount of results that you get for your topics. The one that we're going to choose is mortgage, very simple and straightforward. And then what you're going to do is hit search and it will take about 20 seconds to generate all of the responses. Now what answerthepublic.com does is it takes search terms that people are actually searching on Google. So you know that these are questions and um, that people want answers to. So they'll make great content ideas for your social media channels. So you can view it in two different views. You've got the first one, which is called visualization. <clears throat> and you can see here that it will answer questions in what, when, how, uh, can, where, which, who. These are all questions that people are asking in Google. And if you see here, the darker the orange circle, or if you hover over the darker the orange, the more that that search term is being searched on Google. So a really good one is what mortgage can I afford? It's probably a question you get asked a lot. Um, if we go to can, can mortgage offer be withdrawn? That might be a question that people are asking in uncertain times. And then how mortgage interest works. So all of these are questions that people are asking that you can answer in a social media post. If you click on the data option, what it will do is it will take it from that circular graph and put it into lists. OK, so you can see here you've got loads of different questions that you can answer. Can offer oh, mortgage offer being withdrawn in that one? When mortgage rates will go down, when more, where mortgage rates are headed. These are all fantastic bits of content that you can create for your social media channels. If you then scroll further down the page, we've then got prepositions. So this is where the word mortgage will be at the beginning. And it's almost asking a question about the mortgage. So mortgage with bad credit, mortgage can I afford, mortgage for bad credit, Mortgages, how many times salary? That's always a good post. Mortgage without deposit. Again, I like I prefer looking at it on data because it's easier for me to visualize and you don't have to tilt your head every so often. So take all of these, like mortgage for bad credit, you could do a series of posts around how to get a mortgage with bad credit. Those type of things are going to be invaluable for you. So really good bits of content. Take these, make a list of them, copy and paste them, put them into an Excel spreadsheet and create social media posts using answerthepublic.com.